William Zorak's sculpture, New Horizons, was acquired by the Columbus Museum in 1991. The 1951 bronze depicts the artist's daughter-in-law and grandson. It is typical of Zorak's portrayals of maternal love and well represents this important American artist's mature style. When the sculpture came to the museum in 1991, it was in generally good condition, but was slightly dirty overall, and had on its surface a few old paint drips and unidentifiable accretions, and showed slight wear. Over the next few years, evidence of abrasion increased dramatically due to museum visitors touching the sculpture. The friction caused by even the gentlest touch rubs away the original surface, while oil and moisture left behind by bare fingers promote corrosion of the bronze. Casual touching had resulted in the removal of 36 square inches of the sculpture's original patina. In addition, bright green areas of corrosion of unknown cause developed on the sculpture's base, and whitish spots of what appeared to be investment material from the casting process naturally migrated to the surface, creating a dull appearance. In 1997, professional conservators associated with the Williamstown Art Conservation Center were brought to the museum to clean and restore New Horizons. Because of the size and weight of the sculpture, the project took place at the museum. Work was done on the loading dock to allow for ventilation of toxic fumes. The work on site took two days, and the entire project cost several thousand dollars. The conservators first washed the sculpture with a non-ionic detergent and distilled water using cotton swabs and pads, and then rinsed the sculpture with distilled water on cotton pads. Accretions, paint drips, and old adhesive were removed with acetone and wooden and metal probes. Non-active corrosion products and old investment material were removed with wooden and metal picks. They then thoroughly degreased the sculpture by wiping it down with naphtha. The next step was to apply a layer of clear wax to the whole sculpture with a soft bristle brush and then to buff it. A second coat of wax, containing pigments added by the conservators, was applied and buffed. These coats of wax will help protect the surface from dirt and abrasion and improve its cosmetic appearance. They also isolate the original surface from the next step of in-painting. The original chemically applied patina of the sculpture, designed by Zorak when the work was cast, cannot be retrieved, since it has been rubbed off by touching. In order to improve the work's appearance and to restore something of the artist's intended effect, the conservators inpainted the affected areas using an acrylic resin tinted with dry pigments to match the remaining patina. This step, which will be distinguishable from the original surface under black light, is completely reversible. As a last step, a top coat of clear wax was applied and buffed. That too will help protect the surface from dirt and corrosion. The result is a bright, clean sculpture that fully expresses the artist's remarkable vision. Follow-up steps to preserve new horizons for generations of museum visitors to enjoy include installation so that the sculpture is not easily touched, annual waxing of the surface by museum staff, and continuing education of the museum staff, visitors, friends, and supporters on the importance of responsible long-term care of the collection.